I send uh, my greetings to those of you radio astronomers at Jaw Drove Bank who paved the way for uh, us humans to venture outward and explore the close in portion of the universe. You know, it's still very vivid for me. I was six, listening to the radio and looking at the moon. And I remember thinking, I can't see them. <laughs> I was quite little and didn't have a sense of the scale. But, you know, when we were there, there was this little sense of everybody on the world sort of looking at the moon and, you know, those people were out there for all of us. So I was five at the time of the, of the moon landing. But very soon after, one of my earliest memories uh, is being dressed as an astronaut at a fancy dress event at my first primary school in September of 1969. So I was undoubtedly inspired by that thing. Jodrell got really involved in tracking the space race between the Soviet Union, as it was then, and the United States of America. I mean, when it came to the end of the 1960s, um, we were actually um, tracking Apollo 11 for fun. And that whole story is sort of played out in the, you know, in, in the audio recordings, the archive that we have of that time, a really amazing time in human history. So yeah, this, this year we're really lucky in that um, it is 50 years since, since the landing on the moon and our whole piece is, is around that theme and around that sense of marking the time um, since that happened. This is directly connected, this structure, to the moon landing in some way from it receiving the signals and tracking the Russian satellite. And what we found really exciting and interesting is the archive of loops, as they're called, these lunar loops, that cover the whole trajectory of the Apollo 11 mission from start to finish. What's incredible about the missions is that there was death staring you in the face, potentially. It could all go so very, very wrong, and it was amazing that it didn't. Delving into those archives and finding uh, the, the, the kind of interesting moments, the, the moments that we sort of know about, the kind of the Eagle has landed moments, the mission launch moments, but as well those kind of unusual little moments, you know, these kind of humorous elements that are in there and playing with those visually. We're, we're at Blue Dot on the exact moment that they set foot on the moon for the first time, 50 years to the minute and we in particular wanted to try and just get a, a smallest sense of what it might have been like 50 years ago for everyone around the world to be just sort of glued to this signal coming down from the, from the sky. I mean, I think obviously it's, it's, it's just a, a poetically brilliant thing to do, isn't it? Um, to take that sort of amazing epoch and bring it back to life in a, in a very engaging and inspiring way, I think. To envelop the telescope in its own story um, is, is just, I think, just an amazing thing to do and I'm really looking forward to seeing it and I, I'm sure it'll be brilliant. Airmen from the planet Earth, first set foot upon the moon, July 1969, AD. What would be lovely for people to take away is a sense of awe at what was achieved all that time ago, but then to take that on forward and say, it's inspiring for the future to say that we're at this point we're celebrating that 50 years ago and there is more to discover and more to enjoy out there. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike, it really is.